it would probably include software, like rec editing software, and they also can record the whole screen instead of this, which just records the gameplay. Like, I can, you have to set up a game and then it shows the number, you can't just press record. Or F8, which is used to record on this. But yeah. And that is a negative if you really, you know, if you really want to play free games, you want to download. Because free games could be also amazing. But, it's still pretty good. And it's cheap. It's about $40. It's the same same price as Fraps. And Fraps is apparently like heavy. Heavy duty. Like takes a lot of like energy. Not energy. Um, usage. But with my computer. Everything takes high usage. I don't really got the best computer. But it still records really amazing. It has really no lag. Of course, I am recording Minecraft. And, but if I play modern games, it like, well, it's not because of the game. It's actually because of my PC. Like, I've tried playing Call of Duty on like the best possible like quality, and I lag beyond belief, and I can't even do anything. So I had to turn it down. Not because of the recording. I don't think I was recording then. I don't think I ever recorded Call of Duty. So that also shows you that it's not really he heavily intensive. It's really good. But, well, about nothing. But um, anyway, the to use the p PC record, I... I don't know about, I mean, that uh, 360 console recording. I don't know about that because I've never really gotten into that because it's really a little bit expensive. But also, the main reason is. Well, actually, no, it's really expensive. That's the main reason. It's not really that expensive. But $40 versus 150 Yeah. Your yeah, end. It's actually a lot of work because you have to actually record Audacity. You actually have to use Audacity and you have to like edit like video like voices to fit and match, which to me is really annoying. I never really did that. I mean, uh, like I. I don't have to do that with this. You could just press record voice and it just records voice. But I guess I'd get used to it. I guess it's like two th second thing you're recording. I'd get used to it, but the worst part is it record it uses the computer. And you know there are some that don't use the computer. But it's funny. It doesn't record voice. Yeah, that's not funny. Why don't they include, you know, I don't know, something that every let's player who, everybody who buys that thing needs voice? Because you know, people are like, oh, it records without using a PC, like a video or something like that. That's like that's great and all, but I need to I need to record voice. Also, basically meaning I need a computer. Unless I just want to, like, do it for commentaries. But, you know... I kind of get that. Like, if you just do, do rec commentaries. Which I do like Let's Players who just do commentaries. Although I hate that they only do Call of Duty. I do like Call of Duty. Uh, I think it's a fun game. Don't really play it as much. But it's actually a fun game. I suck at it, but still. And of course, it's heavy usage on my computer. But if I play it, like, if I play it otherwise, like with using consoles, it's really not. Of course, not because it's actually made for consoles instead of like. But if you're like wanting to let's play. 
that. That ability to record without without a PC is really saying nothing. It's not a future if you want to do Let's Plays. But, actually there is a way of recording without using it and with doing it. It's I don't know how, but it's a mixer. You use a mixer. You put it you plug it in. You plug the mix you plug the voice into the mixer. And you plug it out to the TV. No, to the Nvidia. So you can record your voice while using it. So that way it would be good. But I really think that it would be like the best thing. The best thing out there. I think this is new. Hmm. I haven't really played this in a while. I think I have, but just not as much. No, I think I saw it and never really played it. Maybe once, but not really that much. But yeah. I think including just I don't I don't know how much how like it would end. How it would be cost, but if I don't think it would cost really that much. I think it cost like five extra dollars per for putting it in there, and then you can sell it out for like even the way like a lot. And uh, there are some that have that ability, I think, but they use not really USB. I think it should include all three. The S video, or S sound, or whatever, and um, USB, and um, the the headphone jack, which you plug in, like a normal headset. I don't know. I don't know what their technical terms are. Uh, I think it's just a headphone jack. But yeah, I think that's what it should include. All three, and it should just be you plug it in, then you plug in the video, so that way. Although I guess you need to control the voice, like how much it sounds. But they can probably add a little knob thing that does that. I don't know, but the best way. If you want to do it without a computer, is to get a, to get an Nvidia or whatever it's called that you could do without a computer, and get a uh, mixer and just plug it in. I don't know if they can do USB because this is what it is. Definitely want to look it up. But right now, I'm not really like really thinking about using a piece console. I definitely do want to do it in the future. The reason. I don't want to do it right now. It's because like there are still a lot of great games out there. Damn it! Could have sworn I got her, but it's still really great. That kind of sucks for him. Spawn killing kind of sucks. They should kind of give you a two-second invincibility. That's the only thing. But still, you know, I never really had that happen to me that really much. So. Can't really see it's like that big of a problem. So I don't. They should probably do it if they really have the time and the resources to really do it. But if not, like if it's just too much, don't. Yeah, they don't have. They don't have to include it. It's not really a game breaker. So, but still, this game is actually really amazing. But yeah. Well, I don't... Actually, now thinking about the, like, spawn killing... Uh, yeah, it doesn't... It didn't really happen to me a lot. I only, like, died, like, two... Like, five times... Because of it. Out of, like, the whole amount of gameplay that I played. But I can say that it's really... Not very good. For, like, people that are just... 
it could be somewhere where it could be some people where they just get it all the time that I think I think if people like I think if too many people complained about it just a two just a, like two seconds of in instability or four seconds whatever just enough for them to go like this one two like one right there like one two three four Damn it, I accidentally clicked, but it's still very good. I really like that it's instant, that nether portal. But what I hate is that it spawns you right there. I don't get it. I think it should spawn you, like, right here. Like, there's no reason for this area. Like, it should... I don't know if it does for some people, but for me, it always spawns it right next to the nether portal. Which is good if you want to get out. Um, but you'd have to be lazy. And of course the reason that I say that I don't want to next to another portal. It's not because I, I'm lazy and want to get to the game faster. It's because like I, there's a couple of times where I've clicked. Where I just was like in the middle of the game and everything. And then I was just kind of like, I don't know. Where I was like trying to run. And I didn't know where I was running, and I backstab and went back into the nether portal. That's like, right here, so it's like... And you can't really see, so if you go like that, you fall in. So like that, I didn't... I actually meant to hit a wall to prove a point, but then I actually fell. Like, that's how fast it is. I guess I didn't get first kill. Oh, that really sucks. It should say first kill. Because, you know, it really is an achievement. Our first blood, whatever like people like to say. But yeah, it shouldn't be like. Okay, don't get what that person was doing. Guess that one person had some problem, maybe lag. Or maybe he's just absent because he had to do something. Or like me had a problem with his back because of his idiotic way of sitting. Yeah, I really like Quake. It really like is so fast paced that it just gets me on thinking. But yeah. Actually, you know what it is? I just started talking about other things. Normally I try and talk about the gameplay and everything and sometimes I can make it work but sometimes I know that I'm kind of like stretching it. Should really talk about real life and should just, although I know that I'd probably get really like not old, like I know you probably guys would be entertained by it, but it would probably like me trying to find new stuff to talk about. But. Hmm. really would like to get other let's players to do you know if you're a let's player or if you're just a guy who has voice chat call me up or well comment on my youtube that you would like to do a let's play with with me even if you don't have a youtube account well of course you have to have a youtube account but even if you don't have the like recording software or anything you're not Planning to record would be nice. Because I really do want to try and get a community to play. Like with children and everything. Like with Chill Chaos and um, Player Select Gaming. Uh, a lot of people like just. You know, they. Wow, that sucks for him. I think he got invincibility and killed me also. No, I'll, somebody else killed me. Okay, I was wondering about that. Because he looks straight at me and just killed me. He looks straight after for it. Because I think probably he was a real loading then. So that's why. But it really does suck for him. Because I think I killed him twice. Huh, I killed son. And he had a... I think it was um, slide as Minecraft skin. 
That'd be nice if it really was slide as Minecraft. But probably not. Still, I'd be in this video. <laughs> I really love a lot of... I love player select gaming. I love Yoshi to Mario. Chill Chaos is my favorite Let's Player. I just loved him. I think it's because I also, like... He's mostly, um... The guy I've watched the most. Him and James from Gamefront.com. Although I've watched their um, Dark Souls let's play more than really that's all. Although that's really because like James doesn't really. That's also because like, it was going on for years. Like it'd been going on for two years of uh, Dark Souls let's play. I think I watched a year of it. Uh, Because well, it's not really like he was sucking that bad. I've seen other Let's Players do it. But it was because first you started with 10 minute videos and he went on fat to like 30 minute. And even then, it was also because he did um, New Game Plus and Demon Souls. That that also was it. So he did all three games and it was really entertaining. And if you're subscribed or if you want to go to Player Select Gaming Gamefront.com and watch their videos. And also tell them about me. Tell people of the community. Because I don't, I don't really want to do... I don't really say, hey, check me out. But, but it would also be nice if you just get the word out. If you just say, hey, this is a uh, Let's Player. Aw, poor puppy. Aw, there's... That's good. At least you... Poor... That's Dexter. Poor dog. He's a good dog. Uh, unfortunately. Unfortunately, we had to give up like a cut, like eight dogs. Well, because we had eight dogs. But we had, well not eight dogs, eight puppies. Because of my dog, Dequila. Not, we didn't name her, like me and my mom didn't name her. No. Sorry, I just burped. But me and my mom, I mean, um, we didn't name her. We actually got her from somebody who already named her that. S my mom wanted to name her something else. I thought, eh, Dekeel is okay. Except until she escapes. And then you're going out in the street and saying, Dekeela! Dekeela! Yeah. You kind of sound like a drunk. But still... Kill is a very great dog, and she gave birth to like Dexter and Toby because of my. Oh, we had an older dog, Scooby, who unfortunately died. Poor dog. But he gave us two wonderful dogs, Dexter and Toby. And unfortunately, my mom didn't really like um, get any of them neutered, like even him. But, and he gave birth to other little puppies. Wait a minute, is that like a, oh no, I know that's a girl. Okay, those are boobies. I was going to say, like, that's a girl with the, but that I think is definitely a guy. Yep, that would definitely be a guy who did that skin. And that's really an interesting skin to do. But. What? Oh, okay, so I joined. But, yeah. Unf um, the little puppies. Eight of them. No, seven of them. Really, really cute and lovable. I didn't really mind giving up the six of them, but the seventh one. I think because I really wanted to keep them because, like. Scooby died, but we couldn't keep him. My mom is unfortunately going through like um, chemo, and you know, it's a puppy. He's gonna shit. Well, she's gonna have to go poo in bathroom, and sometimes they don't go outside. And chemo like kills like everything that makes you 
that makes you healthy. It like kills cells that allow you to like defend yourself. So you're really uh, acceptable to like diseases and stuff like viruses. A more. I don't. She's unfortunately taking it because like she unfortunately had cancer and. She unfortunately wants to make sure that it doesn't come back. Yeah, but I actually actually saved her life. I inf I uh, told her to go to a better hospital. I don't know why she didn't want to. Oh, well, because it was like an hour to ways drive, and it was like it was like a lot of money. But I'm like, it's your life. Spend that. She probably. She would have done that for me, like, went, went to, like, the best hospital. So why sh shouldn't she do it for herself? She's a good mom. She loves me, cares. And does everything right. Saves up for me, for my future. For that way. For my inheritance. And even when she, like, when she retires... And unfortunately, she can't really retire unless I take over the business because it ain't really like uh. She she got the houses. She got like five houses and she rents them out. And you kind of get the worst of the worst when you have when you kind of get like um uh when you do tenants and when you're first starting out, like especially with my mom, she didn't. Grandma was really cheap, so she really left the houses in decay. That really was a problem. And also, she didn't really teach my mom about how, like, just evil they are. Like, the tenants. And just how you gotta get rid of them. And you just gotta know the secret ways of getting rid of them. Like, it's really sick. Let's say... It's like you gotta pay. It's like we had to live off that. Oh, we got five houses. That means we're rich, right? No, because like taxes and everything, you barely get like a hundred fifty dollars from that. From that thousand dollars, it's like you barely get it to spend on anything that you know you need, like food and everything. So you can't like you have to have like five houses to make a living doing like renting really that's how bad it is and we make a living unfortunately the houses were left in decay because she, like grandma was so cheap she didn't really fix stuff she left it in decay but what also but what also kind of like that she didn't teach them about how like different things and techniques and that's what I hope my mom's gonna teach me. She hasn't taught me yet. But yeah, so I want her to retire and me to have take over the houses. It's definitely a good job. Pays good, the hours are amazing. The thing is stress is the worst thing. Like it's like one of the worst jobs. It's like even though the hours are great, it's like one little thing can put you in um well, let's just say you have no house, no houses, five houses. Let's say you have that really large amount of money with the houses, but it really costs a lot of debt. And if you sell one house to like pay for that debt, well, it's still going to grow. Like you, And then you're going to have nest eggs for future, but then you're going to lose money what you would have gotten when the houses go up, because the houses always go up. So then you're lo losing money, so then it's like, wow. And unfortunately, you really have to know how to use the system. To your advantage, because in Canada, I think in the US it's like better. For like the landlords, but in Canada it's just like, haha, suckers. It's, it's also like that with like, um contractors. They're, 
Well, hopefully they get new laws, because that's also a part of a job, is dealing with um, contractors who uh, just steal everything you want, everything you have, everything you own. Well, well, they won't steal everything, but they will steal your money that you you need to use to pay for stuff like fl new floors for the tents because, like, unfortunately, some damage is caused. And it's not your fault that damage has happened. Like, something is broken. Usually just wear and tear. Also tenants, and unfortunately, sometimes... And they expect you have a billion dollars. You know, I'd get that kind of arrogance if we, if you guys had to pay two thousand, so that way we can at least have. I mean, seriously, taxes are really horrible. Hate taxes. I don't. I wouldn't really mind taxes. I don't really mind paying taxes. If not what not like they were so they're cheaper, but if they actually went to something other than welfare. I know welfare is probably not the biggest expense, but it is the worst. Cause welfare could be helpful to people who are like one who are single parents and really need help. Then most of the time, like ninety nine percent, it's for drug drug dealers, you drug users. And everybody who's slimy. And you know, parents who are single and they don't care about their kids. They treat them like 